What's going on, people? So I don't know the God Slayer. God Slayer is back. And we are back in Final Fantasy 14. I'm really game it. This dude over here just got his ass beat by that dragon. I would go over there and help you, but we got a story to go through. Sorry, bro. The Warrior of Darkness is right now on the clock. Her mind at ease, Lita is ready to return to her duties. I will not keep you. You and your comrades have much to discuss. I will see the others back to the coast. Look at that, it's beautiful. And then there's somebody in a chicken costume. Dude named Guacamole. The others were quite shocked to hear what we found in Lakeland. But now that you're here, there's a proposal I should like to make. Make it, Alphano. Make it. I've been spending a great deal of time in the cabinet of curiosity. And of late, I have noted more and more people perusing books on history. The years leading up to the flood in particular. I suspect they wish to know more about the warrior's light, warriors of light, as well they should but nearly everything I've come across described them as sin eaters or worse. Regardless of whether or not this warrior of light is who he claimed to be, I worry that their sudden appearance in conjunction with this renewed interest in their predecessors may, grow, may lead to growing unrest and fear. If the people of the Crystarium seek the truth, I say we give it to them. I too can attest to the falsehoods found within full many of the cabinet's tomes, with nary a mention of the noble deeds of Arbard and his comrades. To be fair, they bear some responsibility for the flood, but when the tale is told again and again over the course of a century, I am not surprised to see their roles distorted and then painted as villains. Were it not for the records stored within the Crystal Tower, I would have had no reason to question the narrative. Unfortunately, that knowledge was of no use, for when I arrived here in the first, the reputation had been all but irreparably tarnished. That said, there still remained those who worked tirelessly to defend their good name in those early days following the flood. Considering all the good they had done, I find it a wonder they needed defending at all. They brought to justice the man who misused my knowledge to bring about the fall of Vobar. That such heroes could be spoken of in the same breath as Sin Eaters is absurd. Under normal circumstances, I would agree, but as time passed, those who knew firsthand of their deeds dwindled. In the end, only one truth remained, that they were the cause of the flood. With the world on the brink of oblivion, it was all too easy for the warriors of light to become villains, deserving only of resentment and hate. Damn. At that point, the truth mattered little. It would not change their lot. Thanks to all of you, however, their lot has changed, 
and now they may heed the long forgotten truth. You claimed it was Arbor who helped you overcome Emmett Selk, correct? Such a revelation would do well to sway the hearts of those who knew who know him only as the villain. I have shared this with a select few, but one and all must be told this of his sacrifice. To that end, I say we proceed with Alphano's plan. We call together the people of Crystarium and recount to them the true tale of the warriors of light and the flood that followed in their wake. Well, what say you, woman? Spread the word, I say. They were all of one mind. Good. Exarch, my ask you to continue working with, with Beklug on our means of returning home. The rest of us will see the gathering of the people of the Castarium in the Exedra. We have to reach out to anyone and everyone who might be willing to lend an ear. With any luck, or it will spread and more will accompany them. Oh, 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 you already know it. I gotta go speak to the people of the Crystarium. All right, let's go. Let's go. Leonard, what's up? So what do I owe the pleasure? Is I'm giving you a drink. When the night returned, visitors came flocking. I don't mind it though. Seeing the stairs so full of life and excitement, one can almost get the flood ever happened. Here, they can start mixing them before, but everyone knows them now as the Cardinal Virgins. Or are you suggesting there's more to it than that? You've yet to steer us wrong, so I'll be willing to hear what you have to say. Come to browse wares in the market, have you? I can guarantee you'll have no trouble finding what you need, whatever it may be. Under your Morris New A leadership, trade has been has never been more prosperous. Where is fellow where is that fellow from Dateless Stoneworks has taken over as mayor? Did he really? Little wonder business is booming the way it is. I imagine it won't be long before all of Norvrant reaps the benefits. Well, you not come to talk about market? Something on your mind? Yes, I'm about to tell you. I'm talking shit with my homeboy Arbor. All right, my homeboy Arbor, man, he was a G. I'm about to tell you. I'm talking shit. I'm about to go. I'm about to come around, and start slapping people. Everybody stand in the line. Whoever got something to say about Arbor, can cast these hands. I see. The XR did mention they had something to do with your returning the night to Norman. All right, consider my interest peaked. Said I'll line you all up and slap you. Alright. Put some respect on my homie name.
Is it one up here? Well, well, what a coincidence. I was just reading over a letter I received from Grinnell not long ago. He says a visitor from the Crystarium found him at the bottom of the ocean and that he inspired him to reach new artistic heights. Well, I can only think of one person capable of both feats, though I'd say the latter is far more impressive. To think fate could bring you two together in such a place. I'm sorry? You mean the XR didn't tell us the whole story of the words of light? But whatever he's left unsaid, I'm all ears. I like how people are just so willing and ready to listen. You know that? Like You know how you know how uh, you know how you know how very rare it is to find somebody who's just open to just listening? Like, like usually when people have, like, you know, ideas on something, it's usually hard for them to just, it's really hard for somebody to just be open to just listening to you changing their, their thought process on something. Like, <laughs> That in and of itself makes this world an awesome world to live in. That you you actually got people who will, you know, where it's a normal case that people will just be open to having their interpretations or previous thoughts, you know, on, on things to be not only challenged but possibly changed, you know. And it's amazing that we live in such a sterile society in that sense that that uh well putting it in a video game can actually be pointed out as a part of its like fantasy storytelling at no at a good it can be pointed out as a good part of its uh storytelling or its fantasy storytelling should I say because it's very, very different than what you see in reality with people. No, this can't be. Surely this, there is at least one book here that does not cast the warrior of light in their deeds in such a negative light. Oh, Alma, forgive me. The cabinet of curiosity has been bustling with visitors of late. But I fear our repositories lack the knowledge they seek. The people wish to know the truth of the flood, of the warriors of light. I have searched high and low, but alas, every account portrays them as no better than sin eaters, abominations worthy of only scorn and resentment. I know they were not always judged so harshly, yet I can find no proof. And, and I dare call myself a librarian. You would address the people and tell them the truth of the warriors of light? Of the flood? How wonderful! You have regaled me with the tale once before, but I should love to hear it again. Oh, you may be assured I will not come alone. This guy right here? This guy right here? He is a book nerd. He is a book nerd beyond belief. <laughs> He's just willing to hear the story again. He's like, fuck it. I want to hear it again. Not only that, but I'm gonna bring some homies because I know they want to hear it too. <laughs> Let's go. I am I am now beginning to realize just how big the Crystarium is.
I'm actually just now realizing how big the Crystarium is. This place is huge. It's big. Now I'm Mikarasuki. It's a nice dress. That is a nice dress. And she's got realistic to match. You the red hair. Okay. Dope. Dopers. Dopers. There are some people here who do be styling. I ain't gonna lie. They be styling in Final Fantasy. Ah, oh, yeah. I bet you it's the nurse lady. Yep. Chesamil. No, oh, man. My, what a wonderful surprise. Though I hope your being here doesn't mean someone's been hurt. Thanks to you, I've had fewer patients coming through my door of late, which is a shame, come to think of it. I've had fewer opportunities to test my new medicines. I jest, of course. It's actually been quite pleasant to have a few moments to myself now and again. The truth about the Warriors of Light, the Escort had already spoken to me about with me about them. Well, there's more to the tale. I'd very much like to hear it. Look at that, like. Ooh. Like, look at that. Just 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 people just like, yes, yes. Yes, change our minds. Ooh. There you are. Between the four of us, I dare say we swap the stereo from top to bottom. I need to wait for the people to gather. All right, let's do this. Yes, this looks to be nearly everyone. Let us begin, shall we? Though I am usually the first to hold forth at such events, I think on this occasion that honor should fall to you. They would be more inclined to take the word of the Warrior of Darkness. Indeed. In light of the subject matter, who better than thee to speak these truths? It was the homies, okay? In the other world, I'm considered the warrior of light too. It's just that here, y'all call me the warrior of darkness. I'm telling you. That's the fam. That's the homie. Wicked White. The Warriors of Light did all that? So they never... I mean, they only ever wanted to help. And when everything they'd done turned to ash, they still carried on. They gave everything to stop the flood. First their lives, then their souls. And they managed it, too, in the end. They saved us. And we cursed their names. The 
This should go a long way towards clearing the air. He ain't a ghost no more. Well, is he? Impossible. He ain't a, he ain't a ghost no more. You can see him too. <laughs> I definitely see something. You don't think it's a ghost, do you? Nay. Yonder standeth no bloodless apparition. But a warrior of light and darkness, both. Ardbert. What in the world? It's you! The one who slew the Eater! That it should be the warrior of darkness who brought the truth to light. You've saved me a fair bit of time. Though I have a few words of my own to say, if I may. People of the Crystarium! I am Ardbert. One of those you know as a warrior of light. That's impossible. You should be dead. Aye, that I should. But as the world has been given you life, so too have I. I know not why I and I alone have been gifted this chance. But I do know this. Only by the will of the star itself could such a miracle come to pass. The hero who stands before you now, the warrior of darkness, is not of this world. And the day will come when he must return to his home. But this land is our home. And if it is to remain so, now and forevermore, it is we who must protect it. The time to rely on saviors from afar has passed. It is you who must rise. You who must become the new warriors of light. What? Us? Warriors of light? <laughs> None of us were born heroes, my friend. I was only ever a man with a thirst for adventure. But wherever my journeys took me, I was invariably confronted with the same choice. To lend what aid I could to those in need, or not. And I always chose the former. Any one of you could do the same. All you need is the will to help your fellow man, and the resolve to see it through. From thine own lips did we learn of Ardbert's fate, and by thy countenance I gather thou art not inclined to recount thy testimony. Yet whosoever this man may be, his words hold truth and resonate with the citizenry besides. For us to voice our doubts here and now would serve but to sow disquiet. Twere better we retired unto the ocular and there discuss this matter in private. Go. I will stay here and watch. Yeah, the fact that he is alive. That was a good speech and all, but the fact that he is alive is something to be discussed. Like, how is he alive? It 
So, that is a warrior of light of the first. I've not had the pleasure of making his acquaintance, but as you all seem to be in agreement, I gather this is no simple case of mistaken identity. As far as I was able to discern, that was indeed Artbert. It has been a long time, but not that long. Could he truly have been resurrected as he claims? Yeah, it looks like him. It sounds like him. But that isn't him. Ardbert did entrust his very soul unto thee. I see no reason to question thy judgment. Nor I. To my eyes, your ether burns as brightly as the day you slew Emmett Selk. That is proof that he is with you still. Yet that which standeth now before the people is far more than a passing imitation. I am reminded of the cardinal virtues, though a sin eater he is not. Which leaveth but one plausible explanation. He's an Ashian. How much you want to bet whoever that is is a fucking Ashian? That he is an Ashian. I, I, I knew that. I knew it. I knew that book. Yo, who the fuck is it now? We just got through it self, man. Yo, you know how much problem one Ashian caused us? Yo, <laughs> to have another one pop up? Given their fondness for posthumous possession, I would have to agree. From what I understand, the Warriors of Light were laid to rest in Yulmore by those whom they had aided in life. At the time, some few still remembered them as heroes. Needless to say, four of them were subsequently exhumed to serve as the Virtues. And if one knew where to look, Ardbert too would not have been difficult to find. Assuming then that this is indeed the work of an Asian, my mind inevitably turns to the last remaining paragon to survive the Sundering. Elidibus. That Xenos hath reclaimed his own flesh is known. Thus evicted from his borrowed form and cognizant no doubt of Emmet Selk's failure here in the first, it is quite possible the emissary chose Ardbert for his next vessel. Inhabiting the flesh of the fallen. My, that is unsavory. And they do this often, you say? Verily, for they possess no corporeal forms of their own. In what one may term their natural state, none save those gifted with the echo can perceive them. Indeed, when Elidibus intruded upon the waking sands, his presence did go unmarked by all save Minfilia and the Warrior of Light. On that occasion, I myself remained ignorant of his coming until after his departure. It was only at a later juncture, when he deigned to appear before me in borrowed flesh, that I was finally able to take the measure of him. In such puppetry do the Asians engage when they seek to influence the course of history. And they have gained much by it. Emmet Selk single-handedly built the Garlean Empire in this manner, while the Hebrea came close to conquering Eorzea, having taken possession of Thancred's living body. Yet it must needs be noted that the Asians cannot avail themselves of all mortal vessels. For were they able to do so, none would serve as a better pawn than our own redoubtable champion. Mayhap the blessing of light shieldeth Hydelin's chosen from Asian influence. Or mayhap other forces are at work. We cannot say for certain. 
Whatever the reason, I hope it holds true. I dare not contemplate what might come to pass otherwise. Is it not peculiar, then, that Arbert's mortal remains should be susceptible, given that he was once a warrior of light? Or did the final departure of his soul make it possible, perhaps? Regardless, to hear an Asian use him to call forth new warriors of light boggles the mind. Elidibus hath ever been an enigma. His ostensible purpose being to preserve the balance between light and dark. When he made overtures towards me, however, I was afforded a glimpse behind the mask of the self-appointed emissary. I shall not defend mine actions, undertaken in pursuit of a better understanding of our foe as either wise or prudent. Nevertheless, what little I did glean may now prove useful. Elidibus possesseth a subtle mind, practiced in the art of manipulation. That he coax this star's most valiant heroes as far as the source with naught save half-truths is no trifling feat. And now I believe he doth employ his skills once more to some as yet unknown end. Though naught is certain, should my suspicions prove true, we shall have need of all our wits if we are to uncover and thereafter thwart his plot. Agreed. Tis plain that simply speaking out against him will not avail us. At best, it would only serve to confuse the people. And I would hesitate to do anything which might tarnish Ardbert's reputation once more, nor yours by association. That being the case, it may be wise to keep a covert eye on this Ardbert's movements, as we attempt to discern his purpose and how best to mitigate his influence. His performance appears to have concluded. What now? Go back out and follow him? It would appear Master Alfino already hath pursuit in mind, and I suspect one pair of eyes shall better serve our cause than half a dozen. Let the rest of us maintain an inconspicuous distance, for the present at least. Yo, that's crazy. That's nasty. <laughs> that fool took the took the body of <laughs> of Arbor. Yo, that's yo, that's. They just won't go like, like look. They ain't got no problem with going as low as they want. All right, guys. In the next one, we're gonna see what we're gonna do about this. Uh, the next one, we're gonna see how, how we gonna handle this, cause. He shouldn't be alive. We're gonna see what's going on. I'm a really the guy. I'm a really gaming. We're out.